biggest cyber threat facing the government is that very quiet adversary that hunts for the intellectual property or access to systems that are what they call physical or kinetic systems that look at our energy or our finance or our transportation. So it's someone that can actually do damage either by theft or by physical damage. And these attacks are very, very quiet. They're insidious. They're very hard to detect. And they're often hidden in the noise from things such as botnets and, and normal viruses and worms. Agencies need to get the best possible return on investment with their cybersecurity. And that means enabling their best brains and their best smart people to focus on those most dangerous adversaries that, again, are looking to cause damage, nation state damage sometimes, and really make sure that they have uh, policies in place, connected systems that can very efficiently, through the use of analytics, understand how to filter out some of the noise that's in networks to really see some of the other attacks that really can cause them harm. And that means, again, the smartest people on the most dangerous attacks. I think globally we'll be safer from cyber attacks when we can actually neutralize and eventually gain advantage over the profit model of the cyber adversary. Right now our adversary is faster than we are. They execute, they share information, they build relationships. Uh, they have no lawyers, so they execute very rapidly. Uh, on the other side, we then have to defend against that onslaught. And until we can actually make that profit model not worth their time, or less worth their time to come after us and try to attack us, uh, we won't be safe. When we will be safe is when somewhat like a bank robbery is today, where you can still try to rob a bank, but the odds are it's not worth your time because you will get caught, you'll be seen on a camera, they'll notice. Uh, when we can get to where cybercrime is there, uh, our networks will be a lot safer.